Hi. Hi. I'm Willie Baronet, and I am not going to be talking about pole dancing. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not an expert on homelessness or on the homeless. I am a person who was uncomfortable every time I pulled up to an intersection and saw someone with a sign asking me for money. So in 1993, I began buying and collecting these signs. The process was always the same. I'd say, hey, can I buy your sign? They'd say, sure, how much? And then we'd negotiate. It completely changed the dynamic between us. They had something I wanted now. And while I was collecting them, I knew all along I was going to eventually do something art-related, but I didn't know what. So I kept buying the signs year after year. In 2008, I began an MFA at UTD, and it was there that the artwork with these signs began to gel. I love setting unreasonable goals for myself, so I decided to have a solo art show in 2009. And I started doing a lot of research. I went and visited a lot of uh, shelters in Dallas and Austin. I talked to people about homelessness and their attitudes. And I kept buying the signs. As part of the process, one of my classmates and I actually went out and photographed underpasses and some of the other places that the homeless sleep. And I found myself getting more and more connected to this project. In November of 2009, the show opened at the Howe Samples Gallery in uh, Deep Ellum. It was called Home, and it featured a lot of artwork using the signs in different ways. Some of them were mounted on mirrors, some of them were stuck to the floor, hanging from ceiling, and I even hired a homeless man to be at the opening, holding a sign, and he chatted and mingled with the guests. I also brought in a big stack of homeless signs so that people could have their pictures taken with the signs, which turned out to be really popular. <laughs> that happened to be one of the most popular signs of the evening. And after this show, I thought I was done with homeless signs for a while, but the universe had other, other plans for me. I was taking another class that was focused on interventionist art, and I immediately thought of having a bunch of people gather at an, uh, an intersection holding homeless signs. And that's how We Are All Homeless was born. Our first event happened at Mockingbird in Central. We met for about an hour and we stood on the street holding these signs, handing out cards. I had created a blog that had links to area homeless shelters and information about the event. And as we handed out the cards, uh, people were able to access that information. So we had a second event, the same place, uh, in April of this year. Now there was a big difference about this second event because we had t-shirts made. The t-shirt said weareallhomeless.org and it enabled people in the far lanes to know who we were because the police, and yes the police showed up both times, would not let us go out into the street to hand out our cards. The second event was also broadcast live online, thanks to many of my classmates. And the most profound part of this experience for me was experiencing being ignored by the people in the cars. They would roll up their windows, they would pretend to talk on their cell phones. And again, it connected me at a deeper level with the homeless. And I was only doing it for an hour, not day after day. We couldn't have done any of it without social media. Uh, Facebook happened to be the most powerful tool that we used. And now people are asking me about what's next because the people who've done it want to do it again. And I hope you will join our Facebook group so that you can be part of the next event. <laughs> My dream is the homeless village people. I want everybody to show up at the next one in costume. A nurse, a policeman, a football player, because we're all homeless. And instead of handing out cards, this is what I'm going to hand out at the next one. So if you come, be prepared to bring some money. What I want is for people to wake up. This isn't about technology and it's not about art. For me, what this is about is being confronted by a person who is in need and dealing with that. These signs for me are now signposts of my own journey of how I reconcile my choices, my judgments, the opinions I have about the homeless, 
about home, about compassion. And I'm sharing it with you because I want to raise your awareness. And I really do hope you will join us because we are all homeless. Thank you. Thank you.